Thousand Springs Scenic Byway. Okay, Dad, we're actually going the opposite of this map, so where are we now? Well, the numbers are going down. We're starting here. So we're at 11. We're allowing the Hanson Ridge Overlook on this thing with the canyon here. And we're going to be going west on 50, then up to Shoshone Falls, the park, Saint right. Falls, back down. And we're going to follow uh, 30, US 30, to little towns like Fowler, New York. Do we go all the way to Bliss? Yeah, we go all the way up here to Bliss to hit the interstate. See, 84. That's where we pick up the interstate again. And. I don't know what I was thinking trying to record when the wind is blowing so hard it's nearly knocking me over. And look at that gorgeous hairstyle. Now that I'm not in a gale, I'll explain what we're doing. This is the second part of our Idaho road trip, and we are driving on the Thousand Springs Scenic Byway. We began at the Hanson Memorial Bridge, a 350 foot high bridge that carries Idaho State Highway 50 over the Snake River Canyon near Twin Falls, Idaho. My dad was saying Idaho is in a drought and the Snake River is really, really low. This bridge is also known as the Veterans Memorial Bridge. It was constructed in 1966 to replace the aging original structure, which was a suspension bridge. We then begin the drive down the scenic byway to Shoshone Falls. Shoshone Falls is often referred to as the Niagara of the West. At 212 feet tall and 900 feet wide, it is one of the largest natural waterfalls in the U.S., even surpassing Niagara Falls when it comes to height.
It's located on the Snake River and is a must-see if you're in the area. What you actually see when you visit is dependent on a lot of things, including snowmelt and weather conditions over time. Idaho's been in a drought for some time, so I really didn't expect to see much, but it was still a gorgeous waterfall. I can only imagine how beautiful it is when it's all the way around. Tourists have been coming to see the falls as early as the mid-19th century, when travelers along the Oregon Trail would detour from the trail to visit the falls. It's absolutely stunning and well worth a visit.
The next part of our road trip is the namesake of the Thousand Springs Scenic Byway, the Thousand Springs State Park. Four areas make up the park, a public recreation and nature preservation area. This part is Ritter Island and its gorgeous waterfalls. Even in low water conditions, it is beautiful. You could easily spend time around this area. There's a gorge, several springs, a creek, and even a trail that touches the Oregon Trail. I'd love to go back when I have more time.
Our last stop was Hagerman Wildlife Viewing Area, where we saw an adorable pelican. I never knew Idaho had so many pelicans. I can't remember ever seeing one. And that ends our scenic byway road trip through some gorgeous areas of Idaho. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Thanks so much.